Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Amachi's Amazing Machines. The author is Rajiv Aipe. The illustrator is Rajiv Aipe. And the publisher is Pratham Books. So who do you think is Amachi? Amachi, I think, is this lady here who's standing and it sounds like she has some amazing machines to help her do her work. So let's read more about these machines. Amachi, Amachi, could we make coconut barfi today? Suraj asked his grandmother. Please. So Suraj is this boy and Amachi is his grandmother. And Suraj wants Amachi to make coconut burpee. <laughs> Only if you help me make it, eh? replied Amachi. Yay! So it sounds like Amachi has agreed to make coconut burpee for Suraj. But only if he helps her make it. So let's see how Suraj helps Amachi make coconut burpee. Ready? shouted Suraj. Ready! said Amachi. So what's going on here? What is the first thing you need for making coconut burpee? It is coconut and it looks like Amachi has a coconut tree. So she can get coconuts from it. But is she going to really climb this tall tree to get the coconuts? But and what is going on here? It doesn't look like it. She's sitting on this kind of chair that is made with these tires and a board. And the chair is tied to a rope and the rope goes up and it's then coming down to where Suraj is standing. And Suraj is standing there asking her if she is ready. Ready for what? Let's see. We'll only pick the right ones, okay? The ones that are brown all over. Watch out. Here they come. Whoosh. So what happened here? It looks like Amachi is at the top of the tree. How do you think that happened? You can see that the chair is tied to the rope that's going around this wheel. And then the rope comes down to where Suraj is standing. And it looks like Suraj is turning on the wheel to pull the rope. And when Suraj's end of the rope comes down, Amachi's chair goes up and carries the chair and Amachi up to the top of the tree. Isn't that amazing? Let's see what else she's going to do here. The next thing is she has to pick the coconuts. Is she going to carry those heavy coconuts with her? No. You see the sari? The top of the sari is tied to the top of the tree and the bottom of the sari is tied to these poles near the ground. And so, all Amachi is doing is picking the coconuts, putting them on the sari, and then the coconuts are just sliding down and getting caught by the net at the end. And the coconuts are at the ground. Isn't that great? Now to get the husk off. Watch, crank. So have you seen that the coconut is surrounded by this green shell outer covering, which is called the husk. It's difficult to remove. So Amachi is using this machine to get that husk off. There is this rod on one end and a pointy end uh, tip on the other end. And when Suraj is cranking the rod, when he is moving it, pushing it down, the pointy end is able to go and pull the husk away from the coconut. Suraj's stomach went crrr. Amachi giggled. It sounds like Suraj is hungry and it's time to make her feet. 
then we crack the shell like this. Khatak. So Amachi is taking the knife and she is breaking, cracking the coconut with the knife. And Suraj is waiting with this bowl to collect the water. And so when she cracks the coconut with the knife, she is pushing the coconut into the uh, the knife into the coconut and breaking it open. And great the fruit. So the next step is now that the coconut is open, it's time to grate it. Um, what is Suraj doing here? He's using a grater and he is moving this rod that is one end of it and the other end is connected to this ball with pointy tips on it. So when Suraj is moving the rod, uh, the pointy tips are moving inside the coconut and grating. So now that the coconut is grated, it's time to make burfi. Toss it into the pan with all the other ingredients. It smells so good, Amachi. So at this point, barfi is being made. Then we pour it all out onto a tray. Wait for it to cool, Baba. So what's the next step? Now that barfi is cooked, Amachi is taking the uh, pan with barfi and she is tilting it so that the barfi flows out of the pan. She's pouring it into the tray and there it sits to cool down. Now cut it into neat little slices. Squeak, squeak. So Amachi is then, after the barfi is cooled down, she is cutting the barfi into small pieces and she's putting them in this bowl. And Suraj is taking those pieces of barfi and putting them in the jar for storing. And then he is closing the lid of the jar that's making a squeaking noise. Yippee! Our coconut barfi is ready to be eaten. Yum, yum, yum. So great. Barfi has been made. Yay, it's ready to be eaten. And Suraj is so happy to eat this yum, yummy, delicious, tasty barfi. Um, so you saw how Amachi and Suraj made this yummy barfi. Uh, and how she used some machines which she has made herself in uh, make, uh, to make her uh, job easier. Let's see a little bit more about these machines and how they make her job easier. Amalchi's birthday was made using simple machines. Simple machines make it easier to do work. There are six kinds of simple machines. Inclined plane, lever, wheel and axle, wedge, pulley, Crew. Can you identify the simple machines that Suraj and Amachi used in the process of making coconut barfi? So in this page, they are talking about simple machines. Simple machines are just machines that make it easier to do some work. And there are six types of simple machines in this story. So the first one is called an inclined plane. Inclined means it is not flat on the ground, it is not straight up, it is at an angle. 
And plane is just a piece of wood, a board, a block of wood, something like that. And it looks something like this. An inclined plane allows you to use less force to move something either up that slope or down that slope, like this wheelchair here. So let's see where the inclined plane was used in the story. So you see this sari here, uh, one end is tied at the top of the tree and the other end is tied at the ground level. And so when Amachi is taking the coconut and putting it at the top, the coconut just slides down and is at the bottom. This makes the job of carrying the coconut and lifting it down to the ground easier. So that's an inclined plane. The second is a lever. A lever is a rod that moves on a fixed point, a point that stays without moving. And uh, the lever, when you turn the lever, it helps you do some work. And let's see where there is a lever in the story. So you see how Suraj and Amachi are removing the husk from the coconut. Here is the rod that is moving. And here is the fixed point around which the rod is moving. And Suraj is turning the rod. And what that does is the pointy end that is uh, against the, the husk, that is stuck with the husk, is removing the husk from the coconut. And the lever that Suraj is using, the rod, is helping uh, remove that husk easier. Wheel and axle. A wheel and axle um, uses a wheel with a rod in the middle. The rod is called an axle and the wheel is turning around that axle and it helps it to use, helps you to use less force to do some job like this tricycle or a bicycle, you would have seen, uh, it, you know, it's easier to do, to ride a bicycle than walk yourself. And here is another example in the story. It is this grater. So there is this rod that is the axle and the wheel is this ball with the pointy tips. And so instead of grating by hand, Suraj is simply moving the rod turning the wheel by moving the rod and the wheel is making the job of grating the coconut easier. The fourth one is a wedge. A wedge is a machine used to push two objects apart. Um, so have you seen, did you see in the story where uh, Amachi opened the, cracked open the coconut using a knife? That knife is used as a wedge here. So uh, the knife is first used to make the crack and then the knife is pushed into the coconut. And when that happens, the two halves of the coconut start separating, start coming apart. And it, that makes that job easier. The fifth one is a pulley. A pulley has a wheel with a groove in it and a rope goes around the pulley and one end of the rope is used to pull something and the other end of the rope is attached to whatever you want to move. So for example, you, you would have seen how water is removed from a well with a bucket. You first, you fill the bucket with water and then instead of lifting the bucket yourself, which is so heavy, you know, so then instead, what you're doing is the rope is going around this pulley and then you pull on that rope. So when you're pulling the rope down, the bucket comes up. The sixth one is a screw. A screw is just a machine that is used to either lift things or hold them together. Uh, you have seen screws at home, I'm sure. Those are also simple machines. Now, can you identify the pulley and the screw in the story? I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. 
The difficult words in this story are husk, green or brown outer covering of a fresh coconut, inclined plane, a board or block at an angle to the ground used to move something up or down, lever, a rod attached to a fixed point used to do a difficult job by moving the rod. Wheel and axle. A wheel that moves on a rod, axle, to do some work. Wedge. A machine used to push two things apart. Pulley. A wheel with a rope around it the rope is pulled to lift something. Screw. A machine that is turned to lift things or hold things together. Try these. What is the story about? Can you find the pulley and screw in the story? Have you seen simple machines around you?